the concept is a mat plot link. Mat plot link. It is also a predefined module. A predefined module. We can say that library. Library. So what is the use? What is the use of matplotlib means what? The pictorial representation, we can say. The pictorial representation. Representation of data that we processed. That we processed. Normally, how can we store the information means what? In the previous examples we have seen, either by using either by using NumPy or by using the Pandas, right? So once we store the information after processing the data, after processing the data, how can we process? That is, here it is, plot. In matplotlib, one subcode is there. I mean, what submodule is there? That we need to import actually matplotlib in that pyplot pyplot module is there. Pyplot module. Okay. So here, here in the pyplot module, what we have to write? What we have to write? Simply every time no need to write this one. So I'm just giving one alias name as plt plot. plt plot. That is. Here it is. I'm just going to display one graph. So we need to represent what is the x-axis and what is the y-axis and what are the x-coordinates and what are the y-coordinates. Everything we need to specify. We are representing. Simply one line plot I am giving. Some values we are taking in x-axis. Regular values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 I am taking. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But the intersection points in y-axis we are taking somewhat like 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 I am taking. I just want to draw one line. Later I will change some values. 5, 7, 9, 5, 7, 11 like this. So how can we do this? Simply PLT. If you don't use this one PLT, we must write all these things this one. PLT dot, we need to plot. We need to plot by passing the coordinates, x, y coordinates. x, y coordinates. And once it is there, just PLT dot show. That's all. When we are executing the code, it is giving the no module named matplotlib in my system. We have installed a NumPy and Pandas matplotlib not installed. So from the command prompt, as we have, we have that pip, pip install, pip install matplotlib. So then what all the resources which are required, it is collecting from the internet and it will install. Collecting the matplotlib, so downloading everything. Installing the collected packages. That is successfully install that one. So now whenever we are we are executing the same code again, we are executing the same code again. It is preparing 
this way. Like this. It is taken some time to give. Here it is. Look at this. Look at this. So one, it is it is automatically taking the values based on what values given. Sir, do we need to mention this? No. See x and y coordinates it is taking. First, x is 1, y is a 2. x is 1, y is a 2. x is 2, y is a 3. x is 3, y is a 5 x is 4 like this is a lines it is specifying lines it is specifying suppose we are we are representing like this 1 is a 9 2 is a 4 5 is a 7 i mean 3 is a 7 and this is 1 and this is 6 now if you represent now you can understand see 1 is a 9 2 is a 4, 3 is again 7, 4 is 1 and 5 is 6 and it is connecting all values, is connecting all values. So x coordinates and y coordinates you need to specify whenever you are representing and here sir I need to give that name, what is that label for x axis label for x-axis clearly you can mention x-axis it will display next one that plot here it is a y label so what is this y-axis y-axis and for plot at the top you can set the title also title for example simple line plot i am taking simple line plot when you are executing the code, see here simple line plot it is showing here. See, here it is x axis, here it is a y axis. It is representing like this. Is representing like this. Okay. Next one here, whenever we are specifying the details, in place of the plot, we are just giving scatter. Let me explain by, by showing that one. Then only you will understand. Look at this. It will show only points instead of line. Instead of line here. Previous one is like this. Previous one is like this. This is actually called scatter plot. Scatter plot. Only that. Only that scatter scatter points plotting points only it will show that it will not connect that scatters the points it will not connect this is called a scatter plot giving that name that scatter plot that is right next one for example like a bar chart that bar plot i want to represent suppose here x axis not only this one you can represent like this also like for example, A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, E. It's the same values, 9, 4, 7, 3, 6. I'm taking like this. Here, in place of this one, just bar. And here, sir, x, x axis, for example, sir, what are these things? Categories. Is any names are there, not only x axis, y axis. No? I'm trying to say any name. And uh, these are, for example, category, a category related values I am providing. A category, B category, C category. That is representing that simple bar plot. When we are executing the code, now it will show. You know that, that bar. See, this is bar. See, it is representing A, B, C, D, E. This is values and these are categories. This is simple bar plot up to 9 this is 7 is a 3 is a 6 is representing clearly like this simple bar plot we are representing that is next one sir i need a pie chart i need pie chart here 
you need to specify for pie chart only everything everything x label y label everything everything here simply we are specifying that pie chart pie for that we are specifying like this here only you need to specify consider these are the labels and these are their sizes or weights we are giving some name first one you need to specify the sizes actually because sizes inside in the pie chart now outside is a labels labels name labels only or no sir you are confusing means what suppose names and their weights suppose better here it is a weights we are providing weights what are the labels first weights values you have to provide directly next what are the labels we need to set to that weights means what names is a names is a one thing and this is is a pie chart is a pie chart so whenever you are giving that when we are representing that pie chart pie chart is normally look at this it is in the form of circle so these are the values values it will not show here values it will not show here just it is representing like that one values the representation shows values and everything we'll see next one number of plots also you can represent number of plots with one example we can call it as a subplots we can call it as subplots x coordinate is the same we are giving x coordinate like 1 2 3 4 5 y coordinates to y coordinates i am giving because two plots na no? uh, some values 2 3 5 7 9 and next one is a y2 y2 is like 1 4 9 16 25 like this i'm giving when you are representing this is the one plot dot subplot subplot 1 comma 2 comma 1 1 comma 2 comma 1 what is that we'll see in that entire plot we dividing into in that entire graph nothing but we divided into two graphs there this is the first graph simply plot dot plot of x comma y1 plot dot title this name i am giving this is plot one is a plot one next one same one in the total one now i am defining that second one so here it is a second x coordinate is same y2 we are giving it's a plot two. when i execute this now see now see this is the one this is a plot is representing like this in the total we divided into two plots we divided into two plots and this is the first plot and this is the second plot this is total plot is divided into two subplots side by side side by side we are providing side by side we are providing that is and whenever you are representing that colors here it is whenever you plot whenever you plot first for simple thing just x and y x and y okay now here just plot dot x comma y next one what is the line style you are giving what is the line style here you need to represent like this 
dashed line dashed line and you can specify the color also either plot or subplot sir red color by default it's a blue color no? it's a blue color now it is a red color when you are representing this one that line style normally see normally is a direct color now it is this one and here now we are adding marker equal to suppose o i am giving sir what is this marker o whenever you are representing the plot look at this where exactly it is connecting okay but here it is what are the points it is connecting it is showing that points also you can represent the color also and where the points exactly that is also you can specify that is also we can specify is a one okay just all we need to all we need to install matplotlib library and after that we need to specify these things okay only this one you just try quickly so just like this different types of different types of predefined functions are there using that predefined functions we can represent so many functions are there no need to remember all these things depends on the requirement for example like one more example i'll explain same like uh, uh, just like this one previous one previous one with xy coordinates two subplots we have created no? two subplots in the same way in the same way whenever you are representing sir instead of writing that subplot i am creating that two bar plots only bar plot as well as the bar plot but here whenever you are writing what we need to represent x and y coordinates y1 y1 and y2 y1 we are passing y1 we are passing and uh, i am providing that label this label this group 1 i am writing this group 1 and one more plot is a y2 i am giving that label but this is important bottom equals to y1 that will see label equals to suppose group 2 i am giving group 2 and normally labels are same normally labels x coordinate y coordinate and everything if you want to provide you can provide here it is the two bar plots the two bar plots it is giving see look at this how you are getting the bar plots is representing like this like in the same way different in different ways we can represent for everything functionality is there but it is very hard to represent so mostly what kind of questions they will ask what is mat matplotlib exactly only the graphical representation pictorial representation of processed information in python what is the main module to do all these things? Matplotlib. What is the sub module? Is a pie plot. Pie plot. Right? Give me some functions to represent. So one is a plot. Second one is a bar. Third one is a subplot to set the values x label, y label. To show the plot is a show function. To set the title is a title function. For pie chart is a pie function. So many functions are available in the 
in the pie plot. In this module, so many functions are available to write different types of plots. These are the things only we are writing. Exactly, suddenly, suppose if you want to display this plot means what no one can do. Just the functionality, according to that, we will browse and we will use instantly depends on our requirement. That's it. Okay. So one more, I already told you that CSV file representation, file representation. The tomorrow I'll complete. After that, we will resume linked list implementation using that Python. Okay. You can leave.